Hello and welcome back to Red Tech. My name is Nate and this is Dan. And as you may have heard, Red has teamed up with NVIDIA to move R3D decoding off of the CPU and onto the GPU. As of the release of this video, we're very happy to inform you that the Red R3D SDK is available for software applications looking to leverage the advancements in NVIDIA GPU acceleration. If you want to try this CUDA acceleration for yourself today, you can download the latest version of Red Cine X right now. This advancement alleviates the biggest bottleneck when working with RED files, making 8K cinematography easier and more accessible than ever before. The CUDA-based decoding can provide 4K, 5K, 6K, and even 8K full res playback, as well as accelerated transcoding for our R3D files. This breakthrough is a huge deal for us and anyone shooting or thinking about shooting a project on RED, right? So to understand what this means, we first need to look at RED code RAW. Redcode is our incredibly powerful and efficient wavelet-based codec that makes 4K image capture possible back in 2007 with the Red 1. It's still responsible for making 8K manageable on our current lineup of cameras. The only caveat to achieving the small file size is that the files need to be unpacked or decoded prior to playing back or encoding. This decoding is what makes the files feel heavy, which requires some serious CPU processing power. It's not that the files themselves are huge. Now that decoding is being done by the previously underutilized GPU, you'll see tremendous improvements in overall performance, saving you time and money. We no longer have to rely on the Red Rocket cards, which definitely pulled their way while technology tried to catch up, but were pricey and purpose-built for a single task. Now, it's really as simple as hitting record on the camera, mounting the card in one of our red stations, selecting the clip, then hitting play. Now this high-end PC is running an RTX 2080 Ti, affording us ample headroom. Uh, we have the full system specs in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. Here you can see that the GPU is now doing the heavy lifting and the CPU is on vacation. You'll also notice that the disk speed is low because the red code codec doesn't need a lot of bandwidth. The GPU is processing every frame as it needs, so scrubbing and jumping around the timeline is quick, smooth, and responsive. To help illustrate how big of an improvement this is, and to give you a sense of how far we've come, we'll turn off the CUDA-based acceleration and attempt to play the file back. So that's 8K full resolution playback. What does this mean for encoding? Before the files are encoded into another file format, the R3D needs to be decoded first, just like when playing a file back. The CUDA acceleration dramatically reduces the load on your CPU and the time required to transcode the files by speeding up half of the process. To illustrate the time saved when encoding, this is what the improvement looks like when cooking a ProRes 4444 with and without the CUDA-based acceleration. The overall time to process the files will be greatly reduced. You're gonna see the best performance with the new RTX cards, but you'll still see improvements when working with a variety of legacy NVIDIA GeForce, Titan, and Quattro GPUs as well. In case you're suspecting some smoke and mirrors over here, this particular Razer laptop is running an RTX 2080, and the results are still very impressive. With a slightly narrow 8K widescreen aspect ratio, we're still capable of achieving real-time 8K 24 frames per second playback and accelerated encoding. Again, here is the CUDA acceleration turned off. This is no joke, and it's all very exciting. Users now have the best of both worlds. A small data footprint compared to uncompressed RAW, saving money on storage, and lighter files due to CUDA improvements, saving time and money on processing. If you're interested in accessing this new SDK, you can visit red.com slash downloads and select the red R3 SDK from the drop-down menu. There you have it. Another chapter in the book of leveling the playing field and making 8K effortless and accessible to everyone. Get out there, create, and we'll see you out there.